They deserve better than being left on the streets of DC or being left in Martha's Vineyard. They deserve, deserve a lot better than that. These vulnerable migrants were reportedly misled about where they were headed, told they would be headed to, to Boston, misled about what they would be provided when they arrived, promised shelter, refuge, benefits, and more. These are the kinds of tactics we see from smugglers in places like Mexico and Guatemala. Serious? Excuse me, uh, isn't Martha's Vineyard one of the nicest, richest places in America? Hello, and welcome back to another excruciating dive into the black hole abyss of self-awareness known as The View. Yeah. This time, as usual, they are shocked that Democrats are being held to their own standards by their elected political opponents. No. 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 No, not that one, no. Yesterday, undocumented immigrants were put on planes and flown from Texas to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said he used his state's funds to do that. That means taxpayers paid for it. And who exactly do you think are paying for all these illegal immigrants when they come here? It's almost as if none of these pro-illegal immigration activists have ever thought about it any deeper than what it takes to signal their virtue. That's the thing with Democrats. They're very, very generous with other people's time, money, and space. We're gonna dive deeper into this madness, but first give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. In his interview with the National Desk, Plume said the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart economic activities. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, Noble Gold is giving away a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k in September. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. And his spokesperson added that places like Massachusetts and New York should take care of them since they're the ones inviting them here by calling themselves sanctuaries. Cities. Yeah? So what are you complaining about? They came, and now they're going to live with you. The people who openly invited them to come by the hundreds of thousands. But you know, she's not even thinking that. In her head, these people always go somewhere else that's not bothering her. Now, I call me crazy, but I remember the big, tall, green lady, you know, the one that's yeah. over on the river, and I thought we asked people to come here. The Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island are in New York. The people who were coming to New York were processed, unlike the open borders where people are just surging across by the millions. Some of these people are indeed being bused to New York, and all they've done is complain about it ever since. So I get that, I, I understand what they're trying to do, I get they're, tr they're trying to make a point, but it's these are people you're playing with. These are real live people with children and older people, and you know, we can work it out, but if you're gonna be a bone head yeah who wants to play with you mm -hmm. you know I, I i call me crazy okay oh, oh oh you crazy they were always people children and old folks many of whom die in the dangerous journey to get here or they're kidnapped by human traffickers or they die while being kidnapped by human traffickers. Whoopi and the rest of them just didn't care as long as they were going somewhere that didn't involve them. Now suddenly, <laughs> she sees it as a political stunt. But that was always the case with Democrats. Democrats went on for years about their desire to see border states and other red states get flipped blue by illegal immigration. Because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win Texas moving forward 
court and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. The demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. This census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. Demographic changes that help the Democrats. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place there. Democrats should be asking themselves, as a matter of fact, why aren't they dominating the political landscape. Two decades ago, the influential book, The Emerging Democratic Majority, predicted they would due to demographic changes in the country. But unfortunately for them, things haven't been going that way. So now, of course, that they suddenly see no use for these people in their states and maybe even see them as a threat to their power, we get these completely transparent attempts to explain away their hypocrisy. I wonder really what is the scope of the problem because I think this is just political theater. Yeah. If Martha's Vineyard is my, my happy place, it's my home away from home, I spent the summer there, I wrote a book about it called Summer on the Bluffs, and it's a beautiful place and I'm happy that they are there. Welcome to Martha's Vineyard. Unfortunately, the same people who are displaying this ludicrous level of hypocrisy are the very same people who generate and focus outrage in the first place. So I doubt they'll be doing it to themselves, which is exactly why you should support channels like mine and help them grow. You can do that by hitting the like button, sharing this video, subscribing, and leaving a comment to let the community know what you think. All of these things greatly help and I deeply appreciate it.